It is easy to add a roof over a deck. In this video, we're going to go over how to add a roof over a deck, some settings to be aware of, and other deck roof modifications you can make. To add a deck into your plan, go up to Build, Railing and Deck, and here you'll have options for adding a deck with either a railing or just an edge. I'm going to select the Straight Deck Railing tool, and then in my plan, come and left click and draw out where I would like my deck to be placed. Because I use the deck railing tool to form a room, Chief has automatically specified the room type to be a deck. You can easily dimension the size of the deck using your temporary dimensions. To turn on your temporary dimensions, go up to View, and then Temporary Dimensions. Next, select the railing, and you can see that the distance from the back of the railing to the back of the house is 10 foot 6, but if I wanted to adjust it, I can simply type in my new desired value and press enter. And then I'm going to dimension the two side railings from each other. So I'm going to select one of them, type in my new desired dimension and press enter. And then if I want to make sure that I have this deck centered on the doors, I can hold control, select all those railings. And then in the bottom toolbar, select the center object tool and then come over to the door and click once to make sure that the deck is centered on the door. With our deck properly dimensioned, let's turn off our temporary dimensions going forward by going to View, and then Temporary Dimensions. Next, the first step in adding a roof over the deck is to make sure the Auto Rebuild Roofs feature is turned on. To check this, go to Build, Roof, Build Roof, and here you can confirm that the Auto Rebuild Roofs checkbox is checked. In my case it's already checked, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. And then the next step in building a roof over the deck is to click in the deck room. And then in the bottom toolbar you'll see an option that says Open Object. And if you click on this once, and then go down to the Structure panel, there's a checkbox here that says Roof Over This Room. If we check this, and then click on OK, you can see how Chief has automatically built a roof over our deck. You can modify the roof over the deck using the same techniques for modifying roofs throughout other areas of the plan. For example, if we wanted to change the pitch of the roof, we can go back to our floor plan view, press spacebar, select the three railings, select the open object button in the bottom left hand corner, and then go down to the roof panel. And here you can change the pitch along with a lot of other settings for the roof generated over these deck railings. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And you can see how Chief adjusted the pitch of our roof. And if you wanted to change the roof over the back railing to a gable style, you can select the railing and then in the bottom toolbar select the Change to Gable button and Chief will build a gable roof over that back railing. Next, you'll notice that the ceiling in the room contained within the railings is lower than the ceiling underneath the overhang. The reason for this is because the roof framing within the room is using the rafter framing settings, which by default is set to a depth of 9 and a quarter inches, and the area underneath the overhang uses the fascia framing settings, which is set to a depth of 5 and a half inches. If we click once in the room and open up the room specification, and then go down to the structure panel. There's a checkbox here that says use soffit surface for ceiling. When this is checked, rather than the room using the rafter framing settings, the room will use the fascia framing settings, which will result in a continuous ceiling throughout the space. Let's check this setting and click on OK. And you can see how Chief has now built a clean continuous ceiling over the deck. Next, you may want an attic wall underneath the gable end. An easy way to manually add this is to go to your floor plan view and then go up to the attic level where you can see that Chief is already building an attic wall where the gable roof over the deck is meeting the wall of the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this attic wall and then place it over the railing over on this side of the gable roof. To do this I'm going to jump back into the floor plan view 
And then I'm going to turn on my reference floor display so that I can see an outline of those deck railings. And to do this, go to Tools, Floor Reference Display, select Reference Display. And you can see where that back railing is in our floor plan view. And then next, I'm going to simply select this attic wall. In my bottom toolbar, press on Copy. And then come over to that deck railing and click once. And you can see how Chief placed that into the plan. And we want to make sure that it's aligned directly above this back railing. Once you have a portion over that back railing, there's a tool in the bottom toolbar that becomes available that says align with wall below. If you don't see this option, you may need to use the arrows on your keyboard to nudge this wall around until it becomes available. Once you have the tool available, go ahead and click it once and Chief will automatically ensure that the attic wall is over this back railing. And then next we need to make sure that it's in place on either side. So using the square edit handles, I'm going to click and drag it until we have it perfectly over that back railing. And if we jump back to our 3D view, select our rotate tool, and you can see how that's coming into the plan. Let's go ahead and delete this attic wall that we just drew in. Go back down to the first floor, turn off our reference floor display by going to tools, floor reference, reference floor display. And next, instead of having a vaulted ceiling, you can have a flat ceiling going over the deck. To add a flat ceiling, click once in the deck room and in the bottom toolbar, open up the room. Go to the structure panel and select the option that says flat ceiling over this room. And notice that I'm keeping the use soft fit surface for ceiling checkbox marked. I'm then going to click on OK, and you can see how Chief automatically added a flat ceiling over this room and an attic wall for that ceiling. Next, if you want can lights in your ceiling over the deck, you can jump back into your floor plan view, go up to your electrical tools, select the light tool, and then just come into the deck and click where you would like to place these can lights. And then for the purpose of this demonstration, to make sure that they're symmetrical, I'm going to copy these two can lights by selecting them and pressing the copy object button and then reflecting them across the deck. Next, to note that these lights are connected to a switch, you can select the switch tool, place your switch where desired, and then use the connect electrical tool to connect the can lights to the switch. Next, we need some support for the ceiling and roof. The easiest way to add support is to specify that you want the newels to act as posts and go up to a beam underneath the ceiling and roof. To do this, let's hold control on the keyboard and select the three railings, and then in the bottom toolbar, select the open object specification. Next, if we come over to the rail style panel, there's an option here that says post to beam, and if we click on it, Watch what happens in our 3D preview. Chief automatically converts those newels into posts and they're going up to a beam. A few other key settings to be aware of here is that if you would like for Chief to generate a full post instead of a half post where the posts meet the wall, you can come over to the start end post and under start type, change it from an auto post to a full post and then do the same thing on the end type. Next, if you wanted to adjust the size of the posts, you can come over to the Newels and Balusters panel, and under the Newels Post Width, go ahead and make the necessary adjustment here. Next, if you wanted to change the spacing between the posts, you can do so here. And if you wanted to pick a different post style from the Library Browser, you can click on the Library button and find a different post to use from the Library Browser. Let's go ahead and cancel out of this. And then next, if you wanted to change information about the beam being used, you can go over to the Rails panel, uncheck the option that says Full Wall Width, and under the Beam Settings, change the beam to your desired size. When you're happy with all your settings, you can go ahead and click on OK, and you can see how Chief added the post and beams to the plan.